It is widely believed that practicing celibacy increases the risk of prostate cancer. However, is there any scientific truth behind this assumption? Today, we will explore this topic and uncover the reality behind the fear that following celibacy leads to prostate cancer. First and foremost, it is important to refrain from turning to Google for information on whether celibacy or sexual activity influences the development of prostate cancer. Instead, we will examine the information and consult medical literature to ascertain the truth. According to WebMD, a reputable website, no evidence supports the notion that ejaculation reduces the chances of developing prostate cancer. In other words, there is no correlation between the amount of semen destroyed and the risk of prostate cancer. Furthermore, ejaculation does not appear to protect against the most severe or advanced forms of prostate cancer. Masturbation, which some studies suggest is associated with increased chances of prostate cancer, particularly among younger men, does not provide a shield against this condition. Now, if we explore the relationship between celibacy and prostate cancer, we may come across a question on Google, can celibacy cause prostatitis? Prostatitis refers to inflammation of the prostate gland, which, if left unchecked, can progress to cancer. It is often argued that retaining semen can lead to swelling, irritation, and inflammation, ultimately contributing to prostate cancer. However, a simple Google search reveals that sexual abstinence does not cause prostatitis. The male body is designed to adapt and regulate sexual function, dispelling the notion that abstaining from ejaculation leads to internal issues. Nevertheless, we have discussed one notable benefit in our previous videos. However, it is crucial to understand that the notion suggesting a reduced risk of prostate cancer through ejaculation is based on studies comparing the frequency of sexual activity and cancer incidence. These studies fail to address the difference between individuals practicing celibacy and those who ejaculate moderately. It is vital to remember that factors other than ejaculation contribute to the development of prostate cancer. Moreover, it is worth mentioning a study from 2016, which garnered attention and sparked the misconception that ejaculating over 20 times a month reduces the risk of prostate cancer by 20% compared to individuals ejaculating only 4 to 7 times. However, it is important to question the intelligence behind destroying such a significant amount of semen to reduce the risk of cancer slightly. It is essential to consider the potential negative impact on other aspects of one's health. Moving on, let's refer to the reputable Mayo Clinic website, which states that no conclusive evidence supports the claim that frequent ejaculation reduces the risk of prostate cancer. While some studies suggest a lower risk for individuals with higher ejaculation frequency, the differences observed are minimal. Other studies do not support this notion. Research published in the European Urology Oncology Journal in 2021 highlights several factors contributing to prostate cancer development. These factors include family history, hereditary syndromes, genetic predisposition, race, such as African, American, or Asian descent, and metabolic syndrome, associated with obesity, diabetes, and high body fat levels. Smoking cigarettes, obesity, and poor diet are also linked to an increased risk of prostate cancer. Conversely, regular physical activity has been shown to reduce disease progression. Moreover, a study published in the World Journal of Men's Health indicates that prostate cancer is more prevalent in South America, North America, Europe, and Africa, as evidenced by darker colors on the corresponding map. Conversely, in Asia, including India, the incidence of prostate cancer is notably lower. This disparity suggests a correlation between environmental factors, such as pollutants and oxidants, and the prevalence of prostate cancer. India's closer connection to nature may account for the country's lower incidence of this disease. While Google provides a wealth of information accessible to the general public, it is essential to consult more specialized sources. 
Furthermore, a 2020 study published in the International Journal of Molecular Science underscores the importance of nutrition and diet in reducing the risk of prostate cancer, emphasizing the benefits of consuming nutrients like good fats, proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, and polyphenol. Epidemiological research examining the causes of prostate cancer reveals that age, ethnicity, family history, and environmental factors play significant roles. Age-related risk increases after 50 years, certain ethnicities exhibit a higher incidence of prostate cancer, particularly Africans and Europeans, and family history or genetic predisposition can heighten the likelihood of developing the disease. Environmental factors, including dietary habits and carcinogen exposure, also influence the risk. Additionally, sexually transmitted diseases and multiple sexual partners contribute to a heightened risk of prostate cancer. It is worth reiterating that celibacy reduces exposure to sexually transmitted diseases and the likelihood of multiple partners, thereby reducing the risk of prostate cancer. To further explore the relationship between cancer and sexual activity, more than 1,200 studies have been conducted on the topic. However, no universally accepted conclusions have been reached regarding the impact of masturbation on prostate cancer risk. Furthermore, studies have indicated that sexual behavior, sexually transmitted diseases, and prostatitis, prostate inflammation, can increase the risk of prostate cancer in black men. In particular, individuals with a history of sexually transmitted diseases or prostatitis face nearly double the risk of developing cancer. Those with a history of over 25 sexual partners also exhibit a threefold increase in the risk of prostate cancer. These findings demonstrate that higher sexual activity and associated health concerns do not mitigate the risk of prostate cancer. Notably, a study examining the mortality rates of Catholic priests who practice celibacy reveals that they experience 15% lower mortality rates overall, with a 30% reduction in cancer-related deaths. This landmark study unequivocally establishes that celibacy offers protective benefits and does not cause cancer. In summary, celibacy does not cause prostate cancer. The disease is primarily influenced by age, race, family history, genetic factors, dietary habits, sexually transmitted diseases, and exposure to environmental factors. By adopting a healthy lifestyle, maintaining a nutritious diet, practicing celibacy to reduce exposure to sexually transmitted diseases, and avoiding multiple sexual partners, one can significantly reduce the risk of prostate cancer. Thank you for your attention. This information is crucial for clarifying misconceptions and addressing the concerns of many young individuals. By dispelling the fear that celibacy leads to prostate cancer, we can prevent the unnecessary side effects resulting from the destruction of semen. Remember, celibacy does not cause prostate cancer. We shall meet again in the next video.